In 1886, Clovis Gauguin is stricken with smallpox. Gauguin's sister assists in finding him care in a private boarding school. This is a harsh blow to a man who's only caring for one of his five children. Gauguin blames himself. But with Clovis safely in boarding school, Gauguin lives for a short time in the French village of Pontavan. First discovered in the 1860s by an American artist, it becomes home to a colony of artists and marks a turning point in the history of art. Among the artists and their paintings, joining Gauguin at that time, were Jacob Meyer de Haan. Paul Serzier, Charles Filliger, and Emile Bernard. In 1886, Gauguin meets fellow artist Charles Laval, painted here by Gauguin in still life with profile of Laval. In search of a more exotic location, both Laval and Gauguin leave for Martinique. Stopping on the way, they work as laborers on the Panama Canal. The charm of Martinique seizes Gauguin, and its influence is recognized in much of his most admired work, including his later masterpieces of Tahiti and the Marquesas. Both Gauguin and Laval fall ill to dysentery and malaria. Laval is so stricken, he attempts suicide. But the five months in Martinique are very productive for Gauguin and yet another turning point in his art. There are 10 to 12 or 20 completed works, depending on which biography you read, including several works that may have been done by Charles Laval and erroneously accredited to Gauguin. The few works from Laval show Gauguin's influence as one of his most devoted followers. Laval acknowledges his artistic debt to Gauguin, saying, You rolled back my horizons and made space around me. The longer I live, the more I admire your talent. In 1887, Gauguin meets Dutch artist Vincent Wilhelm van Gogh. 